His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree Number no. 96 of 2023, restructuring the Board of Trustees of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, based on a proposal by the Prime Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. The decree stipulates that the Board of Trustees of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence shall be chaired by Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and comprise the following members: Ali Abdullah Al Aradi, Deputy Chairman; Ibrahim Dawood Nunu, Dr. Majid Mohsen Al Asfour, Dr. Sadiq Omar Al Khalifa, Salah Yusuf Al Jodar, Sushil Muljmal, Muhammad Mahmoud Abdul Salam, Abdul Latif, Dr. Sayed Muhammad Ali Al Husseini, His Eminence Miguel Angel Ayusho Guixos, Rabbi Abraham Sakurka, His Grace Bishop Julius. Members will serve for a new renewable four-year term. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Qadibia Palace. The cabinet highlighted the importance of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's visit to the UAE, as well as his meeting with the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and the Vice President of the UAE, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. The cabinet noted the importance of the visit in further consolidating the historic relations between the two countries and their people. To mark Bahraini Doctors' Day, the cabinet expressed gratitude to Bahraini doctors and medical professionals for their efforts in advancing the kingdom's healthcare services. The cabinet urged the international community to respond to the United Nations General Assembly resolution adopted by a majority of 120 states that calls for the establishment of an immediate, permanent, and sustainable humanitarian truce, leading to the cessation of hostilities, the protection of civilians, civilian objects, and facilities as well as ensuring full and in uninterrupted humanitarian assistance to the Palestinians in Gaza. The cabinet concluded by reiterating Bahrain's call for de-escalation and a ceasefire in the Gaza Strip as well as for the revival of the peace process in a manner that upholds the rights of the Palestinian people to self-determination and the establishment of their sovereign independent states. The cabinet then discussed and approved the following memorandums. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance regarding financing of 177 municipal projects as part of the third phase of development plans from the Municipal Shared Resources Fund to enhance the Kingdom's comprehensive development. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance regarding the mechanisms to implement major development projects. The cabinet also reviewed the following. A memorandum submitted by the Minister of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture on the third quarter statistics for building permits issued from January to September 2023, which showed an increase in the number of permits issued through the Binayat system by 2.76% compared to last year, and the total building area increased by 43.2%. A memorandum submitted by the Minister of Youth Affairs on the 2023 to 28 National Strategy for Youth Empowerment approved by the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, chaired by the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The strategy is based on five pillars that are implemented throughout initiatives that develop the role of youth, hone their skills and enhance their contributions to the Kingdom's comprehensive development. In addition, the Cabinet noted the following ministerial 
Bureau reports. The participation in the fifth ministerial meeting of the International Security Alliance, the participation in the seventh edition of the Future Investment Initiative Conference, the outcomes of the 24th meeting of the ministerial committee charged with following up on the implementation of Gulf Joint Action Decisions, the outcomes of the ninth meeting of the GCC Ministers of Endowments, Religious and Islamic Affairs, the outcomes of the roundtable discussion regarding investing in sustainable development within the activities of the eighth session of the World Investment Forum of the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, the official visit by the Ministry of Industry and Commerce to China, the external participation of government officials and the visits of foreign delegations to Bahrain in November 2023. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Speaker of the Council of Representatives Ahmed bin Salman Lam Salam and the Chairman of the Shura Council Ali bin Salah Al Salah at Qadabiya Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the pivotal role of the executive and legislative authorities in uniting efforts to achieve Bahrain's wide-ranging comprehensive development goals led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of continuing to build on the present and future of Bahrain and that meeting the aspirations of Bahrainis remains a top priority. In this regard, His Royal Highness highlighted Team Bahrain's efforts in various workplaces to further realize the kingdom's wide-ranging national achievements. His Royal Highness commended the legislative authorities' efforts and contributions to advancing legislation to benefit citizens and meet their aspirations. His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of the executive legislative partnership, emphasizing its importance in fulfilling the kingdom's sustainable development goals. His Royal Highness outlined the Kingdom's wide-ranging achievements which continue to be attained in line with Team Bahrain's ongoing support and determination. His Royal Highness emphasized the Kingdom's efforts in further developing the efficiency of government services and projects that benefit citizens in cooperation with the legislative authority. His Royal Highness commended the efforts of the executive and legislative authorities in achieving citizens' aspirations and advancing the Kingdom's development. For their part, al Salim Anas Saleh expressed their appreciation to His Royal Highness's commitment to strengthening cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities, which is pivotal to the Kingdom's comprehensive development. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and a number of senior officials also attended the meeting. In implementation of the directives of His Majesty the King to provide urgent humanitarian relief aid to the Palestinians who have been affected by the ongoing war and the dire humanitarian conditions in the Gaza Strip and under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the RHF and the National Committee for the Support of the Palestinians in Gaza sent the second shipment of humanitarian aid containing medical relief and food supplies. The Secretary General of the RHF and the CEO of the committee, Dr. Mustafa Sayyid, extended appreciation to His Majesty the King's humanitarian initiatives and his directives to help the afflicted in various parts of the world, praising the great support that RHF receives from the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Dr. Sayyid commended the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad in leading the humanitarian work carried out by the RHF and the National Committee for the support of the Palestinians in Gaza. The Secretary General affirmed that this is the second shipment to be sent in less than one week, which comes as part of the humanitarian efforts undertaken by Bahrain's leadership, government and people to support the Palestinian brothers. A working meeting was held to discuss the development steps and humanitarian aid required after the shipments phase, during which several development ideas were reviewed, which contribute to supporting the areas of health, education, and living matters. The committee also discussed the construction of a field hospital and a residential complex. 
The 9th Global Conference on Statistical Data and Metadata Exchange continues for the second day in Bahrain under the title Empowering Data Communities. Bahrain's hosting of the conference reflects its belief in the role of data as the conference is a semi-annual global event for the statistics community around the world and is being held for the first time in the Middle East with the aim of attracting a wide range of specialists collecting official statistics and users from national, regional and international national agencies as well as academia and private sector institutions to exchange and discuss the latest developments in the field of statistical and descriptive data. Over a hundred countries participated in this important and qualitative conference in Bahrain to share their experiences in the field of data and its applications.